guys, welcome back to Wayne's Cave. Christmas imaging still continues. It's Christmas Eve and we're still out there. We've got everything set up. Uh, I've got a short spell of clear sky, so I'm just gonna try and make the most of it before going to bed ready for Santa. So we're not sure what we're gonna go for at the moment, but um, we're dead excited because we're using the one and only Ellen Hartz filter. Um, so obviously something with the nebulosity regions to capture um, those specific band passes. I'm going to do some test shots and make sure everything's focused. I'll try and vlog what I can for you guys, but at the very least I'll try and get some screen capture as the session goes on. Um, I'm just going to concentrate on trying to get some results and of course bring them along to you guys and, and just try and make the most of the limited time. Thanks all to the new subscribers for joining, really appreciate it, I notice every single one of you and, that, and I always get back to the comments so leave a description down below as to what you've been achieving with, with this very same filter. Um, the reasons for the filter is because we are in uh, moonlit skies at the moment at seven, I think it's 76% off the top of my head. Um, with a QHY268 again, an apex reducer, uh, as you may have seen in the last video with the horsehead nebula, the, the, the acquisition with that combination is proven to be quite um, effective. It certainly allowed me to, to finish projects a, a bit more easily, even with modest data. So anyway, wish me luck and hopefully you'll get a peek into the session as, as we go on. All right, guys, all the best. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Click the link down to subscribe and click the bell icon in the new uh, material when it comes up. Uh, we'll come straight to your desktop. Uh, tips and tricks and how to set bits and pieces up. Tips on effective uh, image acquisition uh, techniques and uh, varying methods, all sorts of just random but fun astro adventures. So come along, join the fantastic journey and, and hopefully we can all get something out of this together. Right guys, see you in a bit. So guys, here we are in K-Stars and all's going well. The clear skies are staying with us, we've got a good bunch of subs already um, already in the hat and I'm quite pleased with uh, looking at the results. The uh, idea behind the Ellen Hartz filter was that we could still let in plenty of signal to up the signal to noise ratio um, whilst at the same time cutting out the dreaded moonlight which is a uh, tonight 76 percent uh, looking at the subs it looks like we are achieving that i know the l extreme has very good results uh, with one shot color cameras um, <clears throat> but obviously that's cutting out more frequency ranges so um, i was hoping that my portal 4 sky the happy medium to control the moonlight while still letting in good signal would be the Ellen Hart, and it's looking like uh, the decision was uh, a good one. So let's see, hopefully one of our subs is just coming in now. Yep, and here's another one, and that's looking pretty clean. Looks like we've still got reasonable seeing with our faint stars are kept showing through nice and crisp. Um, these are two and a half minutes. I've gone for a gain of 26, so I've just upped that a little bit. The read noise drops dramatically with this QHY camera um, when you hit 20, uh, 25 or over. Um, so we're on the lower read noise setting. Full well diminishes a bit, but we still get plenty of dynamic range. Looking around the background here, it looks pretty even still. I, I don't think this moon is certainly, um, is certainly not getting through 
even visually half as much as I've seen with the moon like this on other cameras like mono cameras and even a, um, a one shot colour with, with no filters so it's good to see that we've got quite a nice even dark background if I stretch it open a bit here we can hopefully make it clearer on the screen but this is amazing detail in here for just two and a half minutes um, you know reasonably short subs uh, and filter also in the light path so yep I'm very happy with the result coming through uh, let me know what you guys use when you're at sort of 60 70 80 percent moon and your strategy what would you do in your imaging train this is quite obviously a reasonably bright target maybe the target so even two and a half minutes I thought would be nice length exposure to, to sort of capture detail and, and obviously the, the core brightness of, of the structure here nothing's blown out none of the inner stars of the cluster in the middle of the rosette is, is at all blown out here so we can stack these up knowing we're not clipping any highlights and hopefully the signal to noise ratio just gets better and better and better with the more subs we can capture and integrate so guys we have the integration of 115 sub exposures all integrated together uh, I'm going to disassemble the integration into the normal RGB channels and uh, balance them out with linear fit and go ahead and process as normal this is the first time I've tried the filter so I'm going to stick to the standard channels of RGB for now and maybe down the line I may use some SHO narrowband style processing techniques so wish me luck I hope you've integrated yourselves plenty of data yourselves and all the best to you all um, please don't forget smash that like button it really helps me push my channel on and share even more content with you guys out there there's so much more I want to share and so many more adventures I want to go on with you all. So yeah, thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye.